Hello, if you think you saw me in this outfit, you didn't, okay? Just forget it. So this is the video that I really plan to film for a very long time, but right now feels like a very perfect time. It's about getting my spark back and my motivation. My spark is slowly coming here, but my motivation was really zero last week. I mean, it's still like 0 0.5, but I do feel better than last week. Last week I got three job rejections, which probably is the most amount of jobs or job rejections I've ever gotten and all of them were from government jobs and today on monday i got job rejection from the job that i really really wanted after the interview and despite the fact that, that they say my interview went well they decided to go with someone else did i get upset i absolutely did but i before even that happened like on the weekend no actually last week on friday i decided that this week i really want to dedicate getting my spark back and getting my motivation back because i realized that if i'll keep going like that i will go into minus and this is just not healthy and yeah yeah, this is not healthy you cannot live like that and i really need to keep going i cannot give up i cannot let it break me and i just really need to be focused and just keep going and focusing on myself is my priority this week so first of all obviously i journal every day this is my journal that helps me a lot we've been through a lot it's a little bit left honestly like so much and i already prepping my other journal which is actually my old journal that i started in 2018 and stopped journaling in it in like 2021 maybe so i will be going back to that one because it's like a good chunk is left in there and i hate wasting journals i also wrote exercise meditate art journal read shadow work journaling and silence the noise and then i'm reading a bunch of books i read books on activism and just women coming to who they are and also this book i started this book all over again because i started reading it a long time ago but then i forgot about it and actually i need to return this book in like five days so yeah i hope to finish it i started listening again to adult children of emotionally immature parents i was like 30 percent in but then i stopped listening so i started all over again and there are a few other books and i'm really hoping to get my creative spark back and my motivation because this is no way to keep going the reality is that bad things will be happening rejections will be happening it's just how you react to that because being angry negative sad upset while it's good to process those emotions and go through them but they will not serve anyone including you so you need to let it go and i'm working that because i feel like throughout my life i've been holding grudges and it's been not beneficial to me i just really want to keep going and be a better version of me and i mean it i really need a change and change is always hard that's why some people don't continue on that on that journey and you know i'm ready for work another thing that i really want to also start working is breaking the old uh, patterns obviously that's why i'm reading this book but it goes into like even fear mongering my mom is like that she always thinks what if and she comes up with those crazy scenarios and this is such a sad way of living because this is just so stressful and stress can influence your confidence your perception of reality and even your actual physical health which is very scary and it definitely scares me so i really want to work on that and i don't want to scare myself and stress myself even more if it happens and happens we'll go through that because reflecting on my life i've been through so much already why do i keep thinking that i am not capable of going through something i was just thinking about it last week i did have moments in my life where i was saying like i can't keep going yeah i cannot go through that and look at me i'm still here i'm still here so yes i remind myself of that but i also remember that there's so many things to work on like fear mongering from others and even from my inner voice my inner voice is so negative what if this happens what if that happens but what if nothing happens you know so it's really frustrating and upsetting and annoying and i'm just so tired of being tired and being scared <laughs> that's why i need this week and i need to work on myself very very actively those are just little things i've been journaling in my 
well journal our journal this is i was in one of my favorite places at this pond and i cried there that's why i drew those tears i just like these colors and it just looks like the aura i want to have so yeah those are just little things and here this is like one of my ideas here is another thing i've been really loving doing just like silly things like that that's what really puts me out of my creative block and inspires me more and more so yeah just simple colors and like silly things like that and i feel already so much better i am i am on my hot girl walk it's literally hot i really wasn't sure about going but i'm glad i did kind of scared walking around in the neighborhood in the u.s because you never know but i'm trying to embrace myself and bring a little bit of my once over this oh you know where the clown hides anyways but i'm trying to bring my european lifestyle to the u.s which is impossible but i'm still trying so i'm glad i decided to go on a walk around my neighborhood and just get those steps i really need to work on that no excuses we're just going to do that I'm listening to Tam's new album and there's a song called Weakness and I long time ago I learned that the universe whoever you believe in universe for me communicates to me especially in the hard moments from music and even in her song she says it's only been three years and I'm only getting started and I'm like wow girl yes it's been three years for me too. Uh, in August, it will be three years since I moved here and it's kind of nice to hear that. So I don't know, just the song that I've been playing for some time to just kind of get me out of, you know, this sad mood. By the end of this week, I will be so much better and so much stronger. Good morning, I had a panic attack today, something that I did not happen for very long. I was able to finally, you know, put some makeup on just to hide like my redness of the face and I also have a candy for the throat pain. I'm just going to go to the thrift store to get the cork uh, board and then, then I have this string of hair just so frustrating. I think I accidentally cut it as a part of my bangs but it's not my bangs, clearly is not. Anyways, you don't have to know that. I'm trying to get myself out of this rot or whatever it's called, this, you know, very low mood and I just feel isolated and lonely, something that I never felt before. I enjoy being alone and I never felt lonely in my entire life. I enjoy being at home, but I need to go somewhere. I need to like run away. I need to go to the mountains for like a week and just have this getaway. Let's go to the thrift store. It's not the end. <laughs> well, will it happen though? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god people say you know it's going to get better uh babes no it's literally not getting better it does not but okay let's go to the strip store just to get a cork board <laughs> I'm sitting at the art museum just journaling in the shades I will try to go on a little walk just to get some stabs but the universe has been testing me today um, I'm not going to go into the details because I honestly don't want it in my vlog but um, audacity of some people is just <laughs> I really like I'm so happy that I've done so much work on me because um, old Julia would react dead way differently but I legit have to laugh maybe it's also because my battery is like literally on almost zero and I have to laugh just to keep myself a little bit alive if you like want to give someone unsolicited advice just don't okay just mind your own business it's honestly it feels so good to be unbothered and just to sit in my little corner I think it might well it's not actually not a corner I'm like very exposed I'd say but um it might be my new favorite place to just journal Maybe I should come here with a coffee. It's also windy. 
outside which kind of helps in this heat so i'm journaling here and one thing i started doing religiously when i journal is uh writing gratitudes and so right now i'm i'm really feeling deep down inside of me the gratitude for myself for being resilient and the ability to keep going so my question to you what are you grateful for in your life at this moment and what are you grateful for when it comes to your skills and traits and personality i think it's very important to acknowledge yourself because we overlook ourselves and our lives so frequently we're so quick to judge ourselves and say you know what i'm not as good at it but we also very ready and quick to compliment others and i think this is so unfair we should compliment ourselves first and then others because i think self-love is important and self-love and acknowledging ourselves and our journeys and our past is important in order to build the confidence so what are you grateful for when it comes to your character and personality in yourself wow it's so hot i just went up the hill a little bit it's a little bit but whatever i'm on this trail especially with this view i always picture that i'm somewhere in california my ultimate dream is to visit california with my husband i have been to san francisco i think you would love san francisco i really want to visit la and all those like you know fancy places but my ultimate dream is to go to topanga california i feel like this is such a pretty place look at these birds flying and so this is how i picture california pine trees those meadows and the road like that and it's obviously very hot so i'm just trying to you know imagine that i'm there and me and my husband we're visiting california and maybe even living there because i keep joking that it's uh, i'll listen to this because i keep joking that california is like a perfect state because it has ocean and mountains and you know who knows who knows but yeah one can only dream Now we go on this one. just want to show you two things that i got at this thrift store that i will reconsider going to <laughs> i'm just joking but anyways um i got avatar and look how cool it is it's three different cities it's really cool for two dollars it's quite impressive it's very very nice and then obviously i got sleepy hollow or hollow Quite excited about it i watched this movie a long time ago so i'm really excited to watch this i like tim burton unfortunately it features a lot of johnny depp but it is what it is so yeah i'm going to watch it just came from the thrift store and grocery store i had a very very successful thrift store haul i actually came for one thing but left with a bunch of good things i came to look for the patterns for the clown costumes i have been obsessed with 
a vintage clown costumes, Harlequin and like Piro, I guess it's pronounced. In Russian, it's Piro costumes. And I really like that aesthetic, maybe because I do feel like a clown myself. But I really want to make a clown costume for Halloween. I don't know which one, <laughs> this year, next year, and five years, but eventually it will be made. So you will not believe it. I went there because I knew they had a pattern with, or like a collection of patterns, but it was kind of old and I thought it was only for kids, although they did have measurements for adults, but basically it had a witch, a princess, a clown, and uh, I think an Easter bunny. So I was like, okay, let's go and see if they have the pattern for clowns. And what do you think? I found it. I didn't check if it has all the patterns, but what I do like is that they do have adult sizes as well at the back. I don't understand it's a little bit old, so I may need my own sizes, but this is just so exciting. It's copyright 1972. Wow, that's, that's vintage, so... That's quite exciting. I think it's vintage. I think it's counts as vintage. Then I found fabrics. Basically, uh, I already opened them. This one had a price, this one didn't, and the kind lady just said, okay, uh, you can have this for $1.39, the same price as this one, and I will embroider them, which I'm so excited to embroider with bids, but I also will keep them for maybe the clown costume or maybe something fun. I, I love this kind of fabric. I think it's just so exciting, and the color combination is just so pretty i'm so happy that she allowed me to buy this one because some thrift store are very anal about not selling you an item without the price but it's like it's it's your fault you didn't price it you know and didn't check it not mine so anyways but i'm so happy she uh, was able to sell it to me i'm i'm just so happy anyways then i found candles for 50 cents i was thinking this is a perfect halloween color because we have to start prepping for Halloween. Then I found another candle. I wasn't sure if I wanted it, but it's a big candle and I love it. I love the color, it was $2. And I thought in the regular store, that kind of a candle would be like $10, if not more. So that would be perfect for Christmas or honestly even for fall, so. And then I got my little collection of DVDs because I am collecting my physical media and DVD is a big part for me now. And I will start with this movie. I used to love this movie a lot. And I see, frankly, this DVD in a bunch of thrift stores. This was $1 and I told myself, okay, I love the costumes and I love the story. And I think just the main female character is so pretty and i love the whole you know like image and cinematography of it so why not so i just got it next movie it's one of my favorite ones and it's underworld best part ever oh my god i'm so excited to watch it i actually used to have a dvd as a child and uh, i used to watch it at least like a once a week so i'm really happy to have it back in my possession i am so freaking excited you don't even know i'm just so happy <laughs> Then I got this DVD, Big Fish. I watched this movie a long time ago, but I thought that can be a great addition because obviously it's classic, it's Tim Burton. And I kind of also want to start my little Tim Burton collection because I like his movies, I like his aesthetic, and I may not look like that, but I am a little goth in my heart. Next thing I got is, well, this movie, The Hours, but honestly, I kind of realized that this is a fake, like Chinese copy, I guess. And the signs were there, but I did not pay attention. I said, oh, it's probably just Chinese version. And I checked, it does say they have English. The audio is in English, but um, yeah, I opened it and it was sealed. So I couldn't open in the store and see the, the CD. But what do I see? Anyways, in set part, it was sealed. So it was not $1, it was $2, but okay. I can manage that. And then I think that's honestly such a good find. It was sealed. It was for three dollars because it's like a special edition. It's a collection of Alfred Hitchcock movies. It's four CDs with five movies on each uh, DVD, not CD. And it also has this little thing. Stunning. I am just so obsessed and so happy. I actually 
wants to get Pedro Amadover a collection of DVDs. It's kind of manageable on eBay for like $40. I used to be obsessed with his movies, just the colors and the women of his movies. I really enjoyed it. So, ooh, something fell. So yeah, maybe one day but i'm just so happy to have my little collection and it's growing i'm really excited about this movies having underworld makes me so happy i have a list of the dvds that i want to get and so now i can check underworld out and continue my little collection but yeah i feel just so fulfilled with this little trip to haul. i think i didn't buy too much but i also got the things that i will be using and utilizing and yeah it was very successful So I just started reading this book and I just picked this book because I just like the name and I have a bunch of books from the library and that was my choice to take with me to the art museum and I had no idea that was by the Native American writer and I'm thinking how fitting because right now art museum has the Native American exhibition where they showcase art by various artists uh, from around this country and it's just so interesting and i'm sitting here and i'm looking at one art piece that can be seen from far away i'll show you in a second so this can be seen from where i'm sitting and i'm just thinking how interesting that i picked up this particular book and it's just so fitting to sit here in in this field almost and read this book read those extremely emotional and interesting and sensitive poems Thank <laughs> you.